popular character at all. We've already seen quite a few people using her last week and this week. Klaatsu, like we predicted, I mean, there was never any doubt. He's going to be going Olimar. Yeah. Hey, he is in love with this character right oh. now. All the buffs that came to Olimar, he, he is just rejoicing. He's like, I'm playing a complete character now. Like, I can contest people in the air. I have fantastic aerials. I'm finally having fun. <laughs> I mean, one of the big things is, like, the up smash, how much uh, Klaatu has gotten out of that is uh, kind of absurd in terms of shield pressure. Like, you need to act when it hits your shield because another one's coming immediately and breaking it otherwise. Yeah, I mean, what is absurd right now is the amount of usage of a neutral be coming out from Kings, really using it as a reflector and a get off me tool against Klaatu. Klaatu has to be very capable around it, but you know, sometimes you just toss out that up smash and you get those stops. I do, I do like that, that uh, Klaatu had the option of picking another Pikmin or keeping up pressure, and it's just, if you only have one Pikmin and it's a purple, that means all of your air moves are purple air moves, right? I didn't realize that when Olimar grabs, it's all the Pikmin yes. that go out. But so, so it reacts still to the lead one, though, in terms yes. of the power. Okay. In terms of the power and their travel distance. Got it. It's still based on the lead. But that way it encourages you to still keep a full lineup if you're going for grabs. There we go. Actually, waiting towards the very beginning end frames of the neutral B to pick out their invincibility. King Art, really good recovery right there coming off from Klaatu, just getting around the Phantom, understanding King's going to be a little too aggressive, looking for a punish right out of it. Oh my goodness, Ooh. taking the full force of that side B. Yeah, looking good at 91%, and uh, Klaatu has himself a purple, and there we go, just running up and punishing the attempt to kill the white Pikmin with the forest match. Klaatu is so observant of his opponents. Yeah, Kings, like I said earlier, has to be careful with those neutral Bs. That is a very laggy move on shield. When you do connect, it's great. You get a little bit of knockback. When it's, but, you know, when, when it's on shield and your opponent's just holding up that, you know, that trigger button, you're going to be in for a bad time. Yeah. Especially, like, the temptation against Olimar not just is to reflect the Pikmin, but, like, oh, what if I reflect a smash attack? Then Olimar, like, dies instantly, but... Solomar has been playing this character since Brawl. He is very used to thinking around a reflector. So he's he's just letting Kings reflect himself out, waiting for it, and just finding his opening afterwards, right? He's, he's fine looking for these little pokes because he has the lead. He doesn't even need to force these questions. Just trying to look for another outside. It's not going to land it, but the backer is going to do it right there at the ledge. Klaatu taking that first game. Yeah, very, very strongly. Like just seeing his way right through that reflector and punishing every single gap right in between. Kings... Really needs to just assess his neutral game plan, not be afraid to do other things, you know? As, as high as the potential reward is for the Nehru's love, not ultimately worth it. Yeah, he's doing quite well but with G-Pick as we were talking about. I'm going to try to go ahead and test out what, what we saw. I mean, it's all good. We still have uh, Kings deciding carefully first what his game plan is, right? And that all starts on the stage. He's deciding what his stage is going to be, and I think probably will be influenced by what character he wants to go as well. Gonna opt for Smashville, still has Saul side boundaries like in the previous games with the uh, platform not getting in the way of any edge guarding attempts not giving free recoveries to anybody and we're having is he choosing Zelda. okay he's going for going yeah, for Zelda he was hovering over Rob a whole lot and I wasn't sure but we got ourselves our game too Klaatu still sticking with the Olimar Three, all right does absolutely two, nothing one, okay yeah go. okay so so guys uh, I just tested out the shield uh, for the D-pad. It does not influence the direction at all. So it must be just in case to make sure. It's yeah, I'm pretty sure it's out. just for mashing then, yeah. or, or if you if he's special with the parrying, who knows? But and nonetheless, it is a preference between these players. We all got some w funky controls. All right, we're going into this game two right now. Looking a little even in the early going so far. And again, Kings is sticking up to that strategy. Just go ahead and use that neutral B whenever a Pikmin is on you. Ooh, actually just teleporting right inside Solomar. I mean, Klaatu, but Klaatu being able to get off uh, his own Pikmin toss right afterwards. Matching oh damage goodness, for damage. forward throw sets him so far. All right, this is actually a very dangerous lineup for Klaatu right now, having the two blues and the purple. And great read coming out from Klaatu. Run up, knew that roll was coming, up mm -hmm. smashed him. I mean, he's kind of recognized at this point that you know, Kings isn't challenging his approaches with an actual hitbox. There we go. There's the up tilt, right? But up until then, he's been using just that same panic option. There we go. Now they're paying out so much, right? Klaatu was so confident that he never had to throw up shield, except if he was within range of the uh, reflector. Oh my goodness, Klaatu going straight up in there. Don't be pushing those buttons. Catch this there. Ooh. This is uh, a really rough game for Kings now. Oh, and actually using the same Pikmin for that combo. I 
didn't think he would have enough time to throw with the yellow Pikmin and get a forwarder there. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of crazy how fast they are. Oh, he has the white Pikmin on him. That's going to be a lot of percent. My man, you better get that off of you. Thank you. Tossing out that neutral beat. Boy, hey, reflecting Fatsu that smash well. attack. Yeah. But, I mean, he's already taken 100% for it, and that purple is going to finish the job. Yeah, yet and, another uh, back air coming off from Klaatu to seal that one out. Yeah. Klaatu's looking clean today as ever.